You know what drives me frickin' crazy? I'll tell you what drives me frickin' crazy. If we have people that work for this company that aren't living up to their potential as salespeople, that drives me frickin' crazy. I'm, what I'm talking about, it's standard for a salesperson to receive the objection that involves a time delay to make the buying decision, okay? And if we have people that can't overcome that, then those people ought to start applying for a job at McDonald's because you won't work at McDonald's behind the counter. People will come up to you and they'll place the order or they may walk to the counter and they change their mind, they walk away, or they may just walk by the counter to use the bathroom. You don't have to be a salesperson and work at McDonald's. You just stand there and be an order taker. Look, listen, we're not freaking order takers. We're professional salespeople. And that's the reason why I keep pumping out these videos and putting out this motivational information because I'm freaking frustrated at people receiving time delay objections and just sitting and rolling over like a dead dog. Dang it, we got to buckle down and learn some sales skills. Now we have to walk the fine line between persuading the client to buy and being a high pressure salesperson. We don't want the high pressure thing. But it, we also don't want to lay, roll over like a dead dog, dang it. We have to, like a surgeon, carefully and precisely get, to, get under the uh, objection and turn it into a sale if possible. Uh, keep in mind, if somebody says, well, let me talk to person A or let me talk to person B or let me think about it, let me do some more research, what do you say? What you say is first you somewhat relieve the pressure like, you can do whatever you like, think, George. You can do whatever you like. But is there something that I, a question that I haven't answered? Is there anything that I haven't clarified? Do you have any questions about this that you need to think about? What is it that you need to think about specifically? Okay, and let them know. And maybe they'll give you an answer that you can overcome. If they say, well, let me talk to such and such first. Say, great. That'd be great if you talk to such and such. What's the number? Let's get them on the line. Keep in mind, it's your job as a professional salesperson to overcome the objection, even if it's a time delay. Remember, the be back bus isn't coming with, with all your customers on it. Don't be fooled. They're not coming back and most of the time. So it's your job as a professional salesperson to get the person to say yes and overcome the delay objections that we get every single day as a professional salesperson.